The potential supernova of Betelgeuse in the well-known shoulder of the constellation Orion is one of the most fascinating astronomical events. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star nearing the end of its cycle. Surprisingly, in 2019, one of the brightest stars in the sky began to fade noticeably, being visible even to the naked eye. But for several months, its brightness decreased so much that many observers wondered if the star was dying, turning their telescopes toward the giant. Star? Scientists were astonished by the evidence of the great dimming. Betelgeuse is believed to be close to exploding into a supernova, marking the end of its life cycle. But when and why will the stellar explosion occur? Could it have devastating consequences for Earth? The glowing ruby star Betelgeuse lies on the upper right shoulder of Orion the Hunter. It may be known by its alternative name, Alpha Orion. Although it is the second brightest star in its constellation behind the supergiant, Real, it remains one of the most interesting to astronomers because of its variable behavior and peculiar name. Alpha stars are usually the brightest stars in the constellations. And although Riel outshines it in brightness, Betelgeuse stands out for its size and reddish color. Betelgeuse, also known as Alpha Orion, is one of the most famous stars in the night sky, being the tenth brightest and seventh brightest visible from much of North America, Europe, and Canada. Its name comes from Arabic and means armpit of the giant, in reference to its position in the constellation. 1. 36. Betelgeuse loses about one solar mass every 10,000 years, ejecting materials evenly in all directions, forming a nebula around it. This nebula has a diameter of 30 astronomical units, which is 30 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun and is 250 times larger than the star itself. At its core, Betelgeuse's hydrogen atoms fuse under immense gravity, producing helium and releasing light and heat in the process. As the star exhausts hydrogen, it begins to fuse helium and carbon as fuel. When the helium is consumed, Neon reacts with carbon, forming iron. The fusion of iron releases no energy, causing the star to collapse under its own gravity and eventually explode in a supernova, one of the most powerful explosions in the universe. Depending on their age and evolutionary stage, stars emit light in different wavelengths, from the bright blue of young stars to the red of older ones. According to the ancient astronomer Ptolemy, Betelgeuse had a color that he curiously described as ruddy. Betelgeuse, on the other hand, was observed by ancient Chinese astronomers to appear to have a yellow color, suggesting that in the past it may have been a yellow supergiant. Large stars tend to consume their hydrogen rapidly, bringing them to a premature end, even if their lifetime is only 10 million years. There is no doubt that Betelgeuse is in the last stages of its existence. While our sun still has more than 5 billion years to go, Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life, which means that at some point it could explode as a supernova. However, the exact timing of this event remains uncertain. 3. 16. Betelgeuse goes through two brightening and dimming cycles one of which occurs every five years and lasts about 100 days. It is believed that the expansion and contraction of its outer shell during these cycles cause changes in its diameter and average temperature. Many paid attention to Betelgeuse because of its erratic behavior in 2019 and 2020 when its brightness decreased dramatically, only to recover temporarily. Some astronomers have speculated that this behavior could indicate that the star is in the final stages of its life. Detailed studies of Betelgeuse date back to the first century BC, but the cause of its dimming remains a total mystery. Betelgeuse has been detected moving through the interstellar medium at a speed of 30 kilometers is after being ejected from its place of origin in the Orion OB1 Association, which contains the stars of Orion's belt. The shock arc extends more than four light years. Determining the distance to red supergiant stars like Betelgeuse is a notoriously complicated task in astronomy, as multiple factors make it difficult to calculate its exact diameter. 
In addition, as a pulsating star, Betelgeuse's size changes with time. This phenomenon, together with the dimming of the stellar limb, causes its visual emission to change color and dim as we move away from the star's center. In addition, the circumstellar envelope, composed of the material ejected by the star, plays an important role in emitting and absorbing light, which also influences how we perceive its brightness. Direct comparisons between observations of Betelgeuse are difficult to make, as its apparent size varies depending on the wavelength used. Diameters can fluctuate by as much as 35% depending on the wavelength used to measure them within the electromagnetic spectrum. 0451. In July 2009, the European Southern Observatory published images captured with a VT interferometer on its ground-based telescope, showing a huge plume of gas extending up to 30 astronomical units from the star's atmosphere, one of multiple mass ejections recorded from Betelgeuse. The angular separation between the Sun and Neptune was comparable in size to this ejection. At least six ejections have been discovered around Betelgeuse. This phenomenon may offer clues to the mystery of mass loss in the final phases of these giant stars, which could be the key to their demise. The precise mechanism by which these red supergiants eject material and the intricate dynamics of Betelgeuse's extended atmosphere remain mysteries. These stars are essential to the cycling of matter in galaxies, and thanks to advances in interferometric techniques, astronomers are closer to solving this enigma. 0550 in 2019, researchers using the Hubble telescope and other telescopes discovered that Betelgeuse had ejected a large portion of its visible surface, generating a significant surface mass ejection, SME. Although the sun produces coronal mass ejections, the events at Betelgeuse were thousands of times more intense, with this theme ejecting an amount of material 400 billion times larger than a typical solar coronal ejection. This explains why Betelgeuse experienced a rapid decline in brightness in October 2019. By mid-February 2020, it had lost about three times. Its luminosity, going from magnitude 0.5 to 1.7. By February 17, 2020, Betelgeuse's brightness had remained relatively stable for more than a week. The star appeared to have stopped completely dimming on the 5th. However, the recent visual fades were not related to a possible collapse of its core, as no significant infrared changes were observed on February 24, 2020. 6. 58 Let Me Know What You Think in the Comments Box If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on more content like this one. One of the most stunning celestial events ever recorded will occur when Betelgeuse finally explodes in a supernova. Despite being 640 light years away, the explosion will be so bright that it could outshine the full moon in our night sky and even be visible during the day for weeks or possibly months. Astronomers estimate that the supernova will release more energy in a matter of seconds than our sun will emit during its entire 10 billion year lifespan. The light from the explosion will race across space and eventually reach Earth as a brilliant point of light, unlike anything we've ever seen. But don't worry, we're completely safe. While a supernova that close might sound dangerous, Betelgeuse is still far enough from Earth that the blast won't harm our atmosphere or life. What it will do, however, is provide an unprecedented scientific opportunity. 0756 As of recent years, Betelgeuse is back to its normal levels of brightness, but its irregular dimming cycles continue to be monitored closely. Scientists are using instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, the Hubble Space Telescope, and ground-based interferometers like VLT and ALMA. They're observing fluctuations in surface brightness, convective cell patterns, and the ongoing mass loss events that seem to signal the star's instability. One popular theory is that Betelgeuse's great dimming was caused by a massive cloud of stellar dust created during one of these outbursts temporarily blocking the star's light from our point of view. Astronomers may be able to decipher the 
Life cycles of massive stars, particularly those that are nearing supernova, with the help of Betelgeuse's knowledge. This knowledge could help us predict similar events in other galaxies, understand the chemical enrichment of the universe, and learn how elements like gold and iron are formed and dispersed through space. 8. 55 Betelgeuse is essentially a stellar time bomb, and it's ticking slowly. It may explode tomorrow, next year, or in 100,000 years. But whenever it does, it will offer us a cosmic light show and a scientific treasure trove, unlike anything in recent memory. The potential supernova of Betelgeuse, the massive red supergiant, in the constellation Orion, has fascinated astronomers for decades. As this aging star nears the end of its life cycle, its irregular behavior, including significant dimming observed in 2019, has sparked numerous questions about its impending fate. Though it's still far from Earth, scientists eagerly track every fluctuation in its brightness, hoping to gain insights into the explosive end that awaits it. In the years leading up to its eventual collapse, Betelgeuse has undergone dramatic changes. Its mysterious dimming in 2019 and the subsequent mass ejections observed by telescopes like Hubble hint at the star's instability. These outbursts are thought to be linked to the final stages of a red supergiant's life when the core contracts, causing the outer layers to expand and cool. This erratic behavior is not only intriguing, but also crucial in understanding how such stars shed their outer layers, contributing to the cosmic cycle of matter. The exact timing of Betelgeuse's supernova remains uncertain. While scientists have been closely monitoring its fluctuations, including its brief return to normal brightness in 2020, they acknowledge that predicting a supernova is a complex task. Red supergiants like Betelgeuse exhibit pulsations that affect their size and luminosity, making it difficult to gauge precisely when the star will reach the critical point of collapse. One popular theory behind Betelgeuse's dramatic dimming is the possibility of a large dust cloud obscuring our view of the star. This cloud could have been created during one of the star's massive outbursts, temporarily blocking the light that reaches Earth. The dimming observed in 2019 may have been a result of this dust cloud casting a shadow over the star. If this theory holds true, it would mean that the star is not necessarily on the verge of dying, but rather undergoing a temporary phase in its evolution. Despite the uncertainty surrounding its fate, the eventual supernova of Betelgeuse promises to be one of the most spectacular cosmic events in recorded history. When the star finally reaches the end of its life, it will explode with the power of millions of suns. The resulting light show will be visible from Earth, outshining the full moon and possibly even visible during the day. While the explosion won't pose any danger to life on Earth, it will provide an unparalleled opportunity for astronomers to study the processes that govern stellar death and the formation of heavy elements. The event will also serve as a reminder of the transitory nature of stars and the vast scale of time in the universe. Even though Betelgeuse's supernova is unlikely to happen for thousands or even hundreds of thousands of years, it's a compelling reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the cosmos. When it does happen, the explosion will send a shockwave through the galaxy, enriching the surrounding space with the elements necessary for the creation of new stars and planets. Scientists continue to monitor Betelgeuse closely, using state-of-the-art telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope and Hubble to track its every move. With each new observation, they are one step closer to understanding the processes that govern the life and death of massive stars. When Betelgeuse finally detonates, it will offer both a cosmic spectacle and a wealth of scientific data, allowing astronomers to learn more about the universe and its ongoing evolution. As astronomers await this monumental event, the story of Betelgeuse serves as a reminder of the mysteries that still lie in the vast expanse of the universe. Every discovery brings us closer to understanding the cosmic forces that shape the stars, 
planets, and galaxies we observe, and the eventual supernova of Betelgeuse will undoubtedly be one of the most extraordinary chapters in the history of astronomical exploration.